Um, I am going to solve this Cathis problem here today. It's just a good way to kind of um, work on your programming skills. So if you're trying to learn how to program, I would recommend something like uh, Cathis or even like Hacker Rank or things like that. I'm just using Cathis because it's easy to sign up for. There's no like props or gimmicks. It's just straight up. Um, so I'm going to try to solve this problem today. It's called Odd Echo. Uh, we can read through this paragraph. Um, you know, echo, echo, echo. You love shouting in caves, you hear words echo back at you, unfortunately, as a hardworking software engineer, you are not lucky enough to get uh, that often to shout in caves. Instead, you would like to implement a program that serves as a replacement for a cave. Cool. So I guess we're a little lonely then. Um, every now and then, you want to uh, input a few words into a program and have it echo back at you. However, as it is well known, if you shout too quickly into a cave, the echo may cause interference with new words you say. More specifically, every other word you'll say interference uh, with your echo of your previous word so only the first third fifth and so on actually produces an echo so um, what they're trying to tell us or I guess what we're they're trying to make is something that's going to I guess only echo back the first third fifth so only the odd number of words for whatever thing you're gonna try to say right um, so they kind of go over the input how it's formatted so the first line is an integer it looks like it's between 1 and 10 inclusive, so it can be 1 and 10, as well as like 8 or whatever. Um, the next n lines contain each uh, a word, and each word can be uh, 100 letters long, and it only contains text from A to Z. That's cool. Um, so what our output should be is just the, uh, the first, third, fifth, and so on, so odd numbers, right? And then it has the scoring right here, so if n is equal to 5, We'll get into that group of point of scoring, and if we can have no constraints on n, um, we can get into the second group, right? So this should be some example input. So it's saying five, so there's five words, so there's one, two, three, four, five, and only the odd numbers. So hello, am, echo, that's the first, third, and fifth. Same thing for this one, right? Just, just words mixed in, and it kind of acts as a decoder, right? So let's get to coding now that we know what we're trying to do. So, um, first things first, we need to make some kind of thing to put the code into. So, um, odd echo dot pi. Let's solve this in Python. Why not? Okay. So now I'm going to open this in Visual Code or Visual Studio Code, and let's get this going. So I just have this thing on Visual Studio Code to. I often look at other pieces of code, so I don't want to have everything loaded to just check it out. So. So let's just manage this. We know this is not going to be faulty. So the first thing we need to do is we're reading from standard input. Oftentimes you just use the input function. Um, but because I know where the input's coming from, I'm actually going to be more specific here. So I'm going to say uh, from sys dot huh. Oh yeah, there you go. Standard in import, and I want a read line. And it's just highlighting sys. I'm pretty sure I spelled that right. Sys dot std in. Or maybe I have to do import std in. I can't import the function. No, well, I guess that's what we're doing. Okay, so. Well, let's make a main function. So this function will handle the majority of what we're doing. So first off, we want to get the integer that tells us how many inputs we're getting, right? So let's get, um, I guess, num of words. We're going to cast something because we're reading from uh, basically a string of characters. And we want to make sure that's an integer, right? Um, so we're just going to do stdin dot readline, right? That's going to read the first line of input. So when we have this input sent into our program, right, it's going to read the first line, right? And we're going to read that 5 if we use this example problem. And that 5 will be converted into the integer 5 and stored into here, right? Now we want to make a for loop. So let's say for i in range number of words, right? And in this for loop, what we're going to do is we're basically going to check to see if we need to output the word. So if i is a, you know, a 
technically i starts at zero, so actually we need to increment it by one um, when we check on it. So if we say if i plus one, and then we're gonna take the mod because that's dividing it by a number and then getting the remainder. So if we're dividing by two and we get a remainder of one, it means it's an odd number. So if I say two, and I'm gonna equals one, I wanna print something, so I wanna print the word, right? But we don't have the word yet, so let's read the word in. So word equals, and we're just gonna std in dot read line. And now we have the word in here. And so if it is an odd word, it will print the word right back out to the main console. Now all we need to do is just, we need to call main. So I can just call main somewhere after I define it and it should work. So if I take this now and I run it, so I could do something like a python odd echo dot pi, it's now waiting for input. So I can just copy this and I could paste it here and it should give us the right output and it does. So it, you know, the output should be hello am echo and I have hello am echo. The only problem is I have this extra uh, new line between everything and I know why actually. It's because when we read this in, there's already a new line character. So if you imagine here, there's a new line character telling to go to the next line. It's reading that in and it's not taking that off. So when it prints it out, it, there's two new line characters because um, the print statement just puts a new line character at the end. So what I really want to do is strip it of that new line character. And now it should be perfect. And so I can paste that in now and it should have the right output. I can try it on this other guy. Let's run it one more time. I can paste that in. And you'll see that only these words are correct. And that is exactly what the output should be. So let's just submit this into Cathis. This is its place where you can submit things. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to go to recordings because that's where I've made it. I'm going to upload this piece of code. And it knows it's Python 3. So if I hit submit, it's now going to run the code on their servers and see if it succeeds in what they test. And it looks like I passed with flying colors. Perfect. So, yeah. That's a quick solution. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.